Michelle Obama just wrapped up an interview with Conan O'Brien on his new podcast. She was hoping to extinguish the rumors that her daughter Malia had been extended special privileges in life. So, Michelle put the spotlight on President Donald Trump, saying that it's not a reality show to be president. But that didn't stop the truth about 20-year-old Malia from coming out. You don't want to miss this. A circumflex euros ITA circumflex euros s not a reality s h o w a circumflex euros Michelle bashes Trump after daughters a circumflex euros p r i v i l e g e a circumflex euros exposed. Michelle Obama is back on her never-ending book tour. This time, she gave Conan O'Brien an interview on his new podcast called Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. The former first lady was quick to change the subject away from her daughters after Tucker Carlson just exposed the special privileges that are afforded to the Obama girls that other Americans will never know. The 55-year-old Obama trashed President Trump while claiming her remarks had nothing to do with him. It's not a reality show, it's real life stuff, she told O'Brien about how the perception of the job has changed in the current presidency. Michelle said that in her involvement in the 2016 election, she tried to emphasize that the position is a hard job and that someone with certain experience needed to fill it. This is a really hard job, and it's serious, and it requires a level of knowledge, of history and patience, and you have to be a reader, and you have to be someone that can handle stress, and you have to watch your words," she said. I mean, we live in a time tell it like it is, and it's like, not when your words can start wars and shift markets. There's a responsibility to be careful with them. That's when O'Brien brought the conversation back to her family, something Michelle was hoping to avoid. I am in awe of my children for the way they have managed this whole thing with poise and grace. There's a resilience that they've had to develop, she said. We spent eight years just going, it's okay. You'll be fine. This is normal. Just go to school, she said. But was that school the typical public school? And did the Obama girls have to pass entrance exams and provide transcripts showing GPAs of 4? Zero or higher, that is required for entrance into the elite Sidwell Friends school that they attended. The likely answer is no. The Sidwell school says it only accepts 7% of its applicants and it's based on merit. We all know the Obamas were given entrance based on who their parents were, not on merit. The recent college scandal, where celebrities bought their kids way into elite universities touched Obama in a couple of ways. First, Michelle's personal tennis instructor who also coached the Obama girls was indicted in the college admission scandal. A tennis instructor for former First Lady Michelle Obama and her daughters, Malia and Sasha, was among dozens of people indicted by federal authorities in a college admissions scandal announced last Tuesday, the Washington Examiner reported. Although there is nothing linking the Obamas to the scandal, Tucker Carlson exposed the reason why the leftist political elites don't have to bribe anyone to get their kids into the best universities. How did Chelsea Clinton wind up at more than one top-notch university? Fox News's Tucker Carlson recently explored this question in the wake of the college admissions scandal. How do the mediocre children of the politically powerful on both sides take top spots at top schools without even resorting to bribery? Carlson asked. They get it for free, he said. They are just awarded them for the achievement of being born. That's how Chelsea Clinton wound up at Stanford and Oxford, Carlson added. He said the Clinton daughter also ended up on the various boards of big companies and then making documentary films nobody ever watches. All without having a single original thought ever in her life. The media pretend to be shocked. In an editorial on the scandal, The New York Times singled out Harvard University for its special admissions preferences and backdoors for certain applicants, notes the American thinker's Jack Coshill. This is the same New York Times, however, 
that published an entirely uncritical article three years prior headlined, Malia Obama Rebels, sort of, by choosing Harvard. Malia is the fourth member of the Obama family to attend that August university, none of whom, save perhaps for Grandpa Obama, deserve to be there, cause Hill believes 